cost of living in Botswana. Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be talking about the cost of living in Botswana. The housing, transportation, education and health cost of any country is a great indication of the cost of living of that country. The cost of living in Botswana directly reflects the quality of life shown in how much is spent on housing, transport, education and health. That is why in this video, we shall examine the cost of housing, transportation, education and healthcare in Botswana to determine the cost of living in the country. Cost of living is referred to the cost of maintaining a certain standard of living such as cost of housing, bills, taxes, transportation and purchases. The variation of cost of living or factors that change are expressed as a cost of living index. Cost of living calculations are also used to compare the cost of maintaining a certain standard of living in different geographic areas. The difference in cost of living with respect to different locations is known as the purchasing power parity. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss on any of our videos. The cost of living in Botswana is a great reflection of the incomes of those living in the country and is different for locals from experts. It's important to understand the salaries and wages in Botswana to evaluate the cost of living because a high salary will imply lower cost of living and a lower wage range will imply prices will be unbearable for the individuals or family, hence higher cost of living. Wages in Botswana Generally, a person working in Botswana would typically earn close to 11,700 Botswanan pula, that's $1,053 per month. This would be an average for a middle class job. Salaries could range from 2,970 Botswanan pula, that's $267, a lowest range, to 52,400 Botswanan pula, or $4,716, the highest average salary for a worker in Botswana. This wage includes housing, transport, and other benefits. Salaries vary sharply between different careers, which means to earn a higher salary, one must aim for specific careers. In Botswana, just 25% of the working class earns slightly less than 11,700 Botswanan pula at $1,053. 75% of the working population earn in the range of 52,400 Botswanan pullers. Experts earn generally more than locals given that they are being paid from foreign agencies. However, experts who nationalize or become citizens get the same treatment as the indigents of the country. Cost of accommodation in Botswana Botswana, having gained a middle income status, has yet a low and stable cost of living, being ranked according to the Mercer's 2015 cost of living report at 189 out of 207 countries. You could find a one bedroom apartment in the city center for an average price of 3,000 pula, that's $295, while for the same one room apartment outside the city center, you would be charged a rent of 2,200 pula or $214. In reality, the cost of living in Botswana varies with the location of the property as well as the access to which one can get to the property. For instance, according to experts' arrival, experts who choose to live in Gaborone, the capital city, tend to have higher rental fees since the city is highly urbanized and there is easier access to public transport, schools and hospitals. Botswana has a poverty rate of 19%, with the majority of poorer areas located in more rural areas, and so though cost of living may be low, the standard of living is exorbitant. The price of a square meter in the city center generally is around 15,130 pula or $1,361. Experts who are sponsored by their home countries face these challenges vis-a-vis -vis accommodation as the bills are being paid for by their employers. But earning a high income also makes it easier to live in a spacious and furnished apartment since they can afford it. Cost of transportation in Botswana Having good knowledge on the cost of transportation in any country worth visiting is highly essential in managing the overall cost of living. Consider spending around 661 pula or $60 a day on your vacation in Botswana as it is the average daily price based on the expenses of other visitors. A trip to Botswana for two people for one week costs on average 9,257 pula, that's $833. All of these average travel prices have been a mean of the general transport fees paid by visitors to Botswana over the last decade. In 2020, it was estimated that a vacation to Botswana for one week usually cost around 4,628 pula for one person, and for two people, it would cost around 9,257 pula for one week. A trip for two weeks for two people cost 18,513 pula in Botswana. Normal taxi fares in Botswana per kilometer can cost 30 pula or $2.7. It is wise then to travel as a family of three or four people because then the price per person often goes down because kids' tickets are cheaper and hotel rooms can be shared between persons from the same family or group. If you travel slower over a long period of time, then your daily budget will also go down. Express transport costs are higher than normal transport tariffs. 
Two people traveling together for a month in Botswana can often have a lower daily budget per person than one person traveling alone for one week. Cost of healthcare in Botswana Botswana offers universal healthcare to all its citizens. A nominal fee may be charged for some health services in the public sector, but sexual reproductive health services and antiretroviral therapy services are free. In 2018, life expectancy at birth in Botswana was 64 for men and 68 for women. The probability of dying under the age of 5 is 36 per 1,000 live births. The probability of dying between 15 and 60 years was 294 per 1,000 people for men and 208 per 1,000 people for women. The government operates 98% of all medical facilities. Healthcare in Botswana is delivered through a decentralized model, with primary healthcare being the pillar of the delivery system. Botswana has an extensive network of health facilities, hospitals, clinics, health posts, mobile stops. In the 27 health districts, one would have to pay 5 pula for consultation, but for citizens below age 5 or above 65, checkups are free. Experts would benefit from good healthcare only if they have a good insurance policy from their employers, which must include full quality healthcare. Cost of education in Botswana Botswana's education system is one of the most improved and modern in Africa. They have such an improved policy on the education sector, which ensures free education for the first 10 years. Botswana structures the education system as thus, primary, secondary, middle, vocational and tertiary. Experts here with children would consider looking at education options available, the curriculum, budget and cost of living. Usually, international schools and schools in the city centers have a higher standard than those in the rural areas. Private schools are very expensive in Botswana, especially those in the capital city, costing about 19,000 pula or $1,700 per term in Gaboron and lesser in other towns. For medium private schools as often referred to, the average school fees is 10,000 pula or $900, excluding development fees which range between 2,000 pula or $118 and 20,000 pula or $1,800 per child. Experts would generally prefer sending their children to international schools. The tuition fees are always exceptionally higher due to their standards. Conclusion Botswana is one of the most improved countries in Africa in terms of its economy and cost of living. Although the standard of living is high, especially in the urban areas, the cost of living is not too far-fetching. The average worker in Botswana can make ends meet, earning over $1,053 of wage and spending $295 on accommodation, a few dollars on health and transportation. On a general basis, it's worth mentioning that Botswana is one of those countries you can visit or relocate to and enjoy living at a little expense. Transparency International reputed Botswana as one of the most politically stable countries in Africa, as well as one of the least corrupt countries. So if there is any one country you want to add in your bucket list for visits and considering a low stable cost of living, good healthcare system and relatively low crime and corruption profile, then you definitely won't go wrong picking Botswana. There you have it explorers, that was the cost of living in Botswana. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do watch to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.